Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we are going to draw a monarch butterfly. We begin sketching with pencil the shape of the wings and the body. We measure to make sure they are of the same size. Good! Having the general shape we can start doing some detail. We try to do it symmetrical. We do the antennas and then the designed pattern. It has lines and then some spots toward the edge. With an orange marker, we do the general tone. In this way, we color every area. We do not need to get all the way to the side because the border will be black. The bright orange and the black stripes warn the predators so they don't eat them. Because when these butterflies are in their caterpillar stage, they eat toxic plants. And so they become poisonous for other animals. Therefore, basically, the orange and black mean, do not eat me. <laughs> With a fine marker, we do the black edges, leaving the white spots. Monarch butterflies are amazing insects. No other travels such a long distance or in bigger groups. The most important colonies, which live east of the Rocky Mountains and in Canada, travel 5,000 kilometers to get to the center of Mexico to pass winter. Well, that would actually be true if they traveled on a straight line. But a couple of days ago, I was watching them go by flapping the wings full speed, and they were actually going backwards, dragged by the wind. So I can imagine they actually travel many more kilometers getting in track. That's about 3,000 miles, by the way. They spend winter in a location in Mexico, and when spring arrives, the same ones travel all the way back home. What is incredible is that the new generations travel exactly on the same route to get to the exact same place every year. How do they know the exact route to take and the spot to get to is still a mystery to science. That is why I decided to devote this tutorial to this wonder of nature. I drew the shadow with pencil and adjusted it with the knitted eraser. A good shadow can make the drawing look different, in movement, and almost 3D. I smudged it so it would look more natural, and now I give a few touches to the wings, close to the body, with a dark red. With yellow and black pencils, we can do the internal spots. We give it the last touches, and it will be ready! I would love if you told me in the comments what do you think about it. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.